social media influencer Mona Montraj, also known as Haja for real, is currently facing charges in the United States in connection with an alleged fraud scheme. Who is this 30-year-old influencer? Haja for real is not only known for her stylish appearances and lavish lifestyle, but also for her career as a musician. <laughs> Her luxurious cars, wealth, and physique attract a wide range of followers, both young and old, especially on social media platforms. She has amassed a significant following despite the curiosity surrounding the source of her wealth. Hajia has always maintained that she earned her accumulated wealth through hard work as a businesswoman and advises the young to do same. Don't forget to pray, you know, no matter what you do, put your prayers first, work hard, especially the ladies, work hard, you know, be determined and focused so that they won't come and say you're spending any man's money, you know, so that no man can sit on your happiness as well. Hajia Fariel finds herself entangled in a legal battle in the United States over allegations of defrauding older single American men and women in a complex romance scam which targeted individuals seeking companionship. On May 15, 2023, Mona known by her real name, appeared in a federal court to face charges related to her alleged involvement in a series of romance schemes. This was achieved through fraudulent emails, text messages, and social media communication. Are you going to send me back my money? Please, I'm begging you, send me back my money. I don't have money like this. God, please. My mom won't even talk to me now because of you. Please give me my money back. Please, I'm begging you. Please. God damn it. Please, please. I'm begging you. God, please, please give me my money back. Social media has been a buzz with reactions to these developments, with many expressing shock at the allegations. Some have even recalled lyrics from Haja Fariusa's song, God's Child, where she references that all her acquisitions are attributed to divine blessings. For sure, Richard Delasky has provided insights into the prevailing trend of scams and fraud. By some, you know, uh, white girl or some white man somewhere in the U.S. And mm. you start exchanging late letters and then all kinds of claims are made. Oh, my mother is sick and, and all of that. So the man should support or the woman should support. Mm. So, but now because of social media, it's become a real big deal. Mm -hmm. So what is she accused of doing? We are told that she used, allegedly, mm -hmm. herself mm -hmm. and working with other people, mm -hmm. basically within West Africa to lure unsuspecting victims in the U.S., uh -huh. people well over 50 years, who Old are in single, search of older love. Older single men. Exactly, who are in women. search uh -huh, allegedly, who are in search of love. He used, she used herself to lure them to wire all kinds of money. The reason <clears throat> is that between 2017 and now, worldwide, several billions of U.S. dollars lost. In that, in that, exactly. yes, I can, yes, I can give you the express numbers. Wow, because of romance come, and you know, the <clears> point <throat> is that people are so shy they don't want to speak about it, as in victims, yeah, the victims. So, you know, you are looking for love, you go online hoping to get love there. Someone finds you and says, Look, Charlie, I like you like that, <laughs> let's do it. And then, as a result of your search for love and falling uh... in love online. You are manipulated into emptying your bank account and sending that money all the way to Africa or somewhere in, 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 in the Gulf. Hajia for real has pleaded not guilty to the charges and both her lawyer and the prosecutor's office have confirmed that she will be released on home detention at her aunt's residence in New Jersey in the coming days. She will be required to post a $500,000 bond and wear a GPS ankle monitor for tracking purposes.